Hi, it's me again. And when I saw this headline, I didn't know whether to spit out me tea or pee myself laughing. Have a look at this. TV license fee branded incredibly good value for money. Almost 100% of people use BBC. Well, I think we can all agree that that is a headline written by a comedy genius. Better have a look at this story, haven't we? So Philia Childs is the head of the Broadcast and Entertainment Communications and Theatre Union, who definitely doesn't want to ride the BBC gravy train all the way to retirement, obviously. She said, I think lots of people will turn around and say, I never watched the BBC, or I never used the BBC at all. But I think statistics show that almost 100% of people use the BBC at some point. From my perspective, it's a huge value for money, actually. If you think about it, it costs 43p a day. For that, people get everything that is on, not just TV, but also on local radio, national radio and online. I think the public get huge amounts from the BBC, and obviously extremely high level popular dramas. Every list of viewing figures that you see, the BBC always comes out pretty high in terms of viewing figures. And let me just stop you there, filia child, while you go and smoke some other wacky backy or something, because you're obviously tripping your nuts off talking like that. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? Where are we? I think people get huge amounts from the BBC and obviously extremely high level popular dramas. Really? There was one recently, wasn't there? That police thing, what was it called? That was quite popular. All the other big dramas from the last few years, where are they? Streaming services. They've put out all the big dramas over the last few years. Not the BBC. Uh, every list of viewing figures that you see, the BBC always comes out pretty high in terms of its viewing figures. What about the extremely low viewing figures for most BBC shows then? Like EastEnders, for instance, who have got some of the lowest ratings EastEnders has ever had. BBC always comes out pretty high in terms of its viewing figures, eh, Philia? But one of the bits that made me laugh the most is I think statistics show that almost 100% of people use the BBC at some point. We can use statistics to prove anything, can't you? You know, about 100% of the people I polled on this channel think you're off your nut, Philia child. That's mad, isn't it? Uh, she doesn't work for the BBC. It says that she's the head of broadcasting, entertainment, communications and theatre union. So why is she so defensive of the BBC? Do her family work there? She got family working there? Is she invested in the BBC somehow? Does she have an advisory role within the BBC? Or is she really trying to get on the BBC? I mean, it's part of the union, so that must have something to do with it. The Broadcasting, Entertainment, Communications and Theatre Union. So I would imagine there's quite a few BBC employees as part of her union. And if the BBC was to flop, maybe her union will too. That's possible. Or she might just want to work directly for the BBC. And she thinks positioning herself right underneath the BBC's arse and giving it a nice big kiss might help her get on that gravy train to retirement. Madness. From my point of view, for people who are parents, in our house we just call them parents, not people who are parents, there's great content for children. For people who are interested in the environment in the countryside, there's things that will appeal to them. If you're religious, there's songs of praise. It provides a huge range of different programming. And yet she's saying that the viewing figures are always really good. And she's named many shows there that have the lowest viewing figures on the BBC. Songs of Praise has some of the lowest viewing figures on the BBC. Country File or whatever it's called. Lowest viewing figures on the BBC. Apart from probably EastEnders. I don't think she knows what she's banging on about. But then, maybe I don't, because I'm not part of her union. But I work in this sphere now, don't I? I've got a YouTube channel. I could join the Entertainment Communications communications Union, couldn't I? I might see about that. But I think we get to the crux of the matter here. Let's have a look. She explained, It's hugely important in terms of the people that it actually employs, but even more so for the freelancers who work on their production and are also members of my union and paying their union... Oh, I added that. I've got to stop adding stuff to these articles. The BBC is a pipeline for UK creative industries. They do an awful lot around training and development and giving people opportunities in the industry to pay the fees to join my union. Oh, funny again, I've got to stop. John, stop adding stuff. The fact that the whole creative industry is such an ecosystem that actually, I don't think any other organisation outside of the BBC does quite as much in terms of investing in its workforce and in my union. Ah, oh, that's it. I'm going to have to stop reading this one. I keep adding bits in. 
So yeah, old Philia Childs here bangs on for quite a while, and I'm not going to read it all because it wouldn't be that interesting a video, would it? Me just making stuff up and adding it on as I have been doing because she's winding me up. But if you want to read the whole thing, you'll find the link below in the description. You can go off and have a read at this delusional woman who's trying to keep her uh, trying to keep her union in business or wants a job or wants a job on the BBC. Eh? So thank you for making it to the end of the video again. Perhaps you'd like to leave a comment, let me know what you think about Philia Childs and this story and telling me off to keep, keep adding bits to it. And also, while you're down there, if you've made it this far, maybe you'd like to see more from me and this channel. If you do, you might consider perhaps hitting the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it keeps you up to date and helps this channel to grow as well. So you have a think about that and I will see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.